It's January 1st, which means new Lego. I'm so excited. I already spilled coffee on my shirt. Let's go to the Lego store. I'm in Florida for a vacation this week, so we went to the Lego store at Disney Springs, and the line wasn't too bad when we first got there. However, after waiting for about 30 minutes, a bunch more people joined, so I'm really glad that we got there when we did. They also let us in about 10 minutes early, so I was super grateful for that because I'm running a marathon next week and I'm trying to stay off my feet as much as possible. So when I entered the store, I immediately took a hard right and grabbed two of the 501st Battle Packs. I was planning on getting one, but I had a gift card, so I figured why not get two. And then of course, I also picked up a Thai Bomber. So all in all, I got three sets total today. Um, it was about 111 bucks, but like I said, I had a gift card for my birthday from my friend Kohler, thanks Kohler. So it was $11.79 for everything. And as you can see from the person checking out next to me, there were people buying a ton of sets. This was my first time going to a Lego store for a release day and it was crazy. It was basically like the scene from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where everyone is grabbing as much as they possibly could. Hurry up, pilot. Along with Star Wars sets, there were a lot of people looking at the new Avatar sets, I'm assuming because of the release of the movie, and I saw several people walking around with the new Jazz Club modular set. However, the Creator, City, Harry Potter, and Mario sections all looked very sad because no one was picking up any of those sets. All right, I just got back from the Lego store, and as you saw, I picked up the Thai Bomber as well as the new 501st Battle Pack. I'm already set up to do some reviews, so make sure to check the page in the coming days for those. But other than that, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Keep building, and we'll see you in the next one.